Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the Infinity Vision platform. Right now, we are doing one such question that came in your NEET examination. This question came on NEET 2019. So let us see this question first. Question says, in the circuit shown below, the reading of the voltmeter and the ammeter will be. So you have been given the circuit A, circuit one, circuit two. So what would be the reading of this voltmeter, ammeter, and voltmeter and ammeter? So you need to find out the relationship between V1, V2, and A1 and A2. Okay, so since in the circuit one, it is an ideal, whenever uh, you have been given a voltmeter and ammeter, you have to make sure it is an ideal one. Okay, so that means this is a generalized term that you need to learn whenever it is given. So that means we have to take uh, the voltmeter and ammeter as ideal. So ideal ammeter have zero resistance. Okay, and ideal voltmeter has infinite resistance. So this circuit would have infinite resistance. Okay, so this would have infinite resistance, don't you think? So that means whatever the current is coming, it will go through this circuit. Okay, so it won't go through voltmeter and voltmeter will keep reading the potential difference across these two terminals. Okay, so the reading of the ammeter I1 is I equal to V by R, V is 20, uh, 10 volt and R is 10. So that means I'd, the ammeter reading would be 1 ampere. Okay. So I1 is 1 ampere and what about V1? V1 potential difference is same as across the battery so the V1 would be 10 volt. Okay. And what about the second circuit? In the second circuit this would also have the infinite resistance since it is an ideal. So that means infinite plus 10 ohm resistance. So the in, this would also have infinite resistance only. Okay. The effective combination would be infinite only. So again the no current will flow through this circuit whatever the current is coming it will gonna flow just like this again the reading would be same okay because no current is flowing through it so it's the, the voltmeter would have a potential difference of the same as 10 ohm resistors and which is nothing but the same as 10 volt cell okay so because the no current is flowing through it so there won't be a potential drop across this 10 ohm resistors because the effective combination of these two are uh, again infinite so no current will flow through it so the potential difference across this V2 would also be 10 volt and this I1 uh, this A2 would also be 1 ampere so that means the answer would be V1 is equal to V2 and I1 is equal to I2 so the third option would be the correct option that you should get I hope this question is clear to everyone thank you